Hi everyone, Chantel here. Today I'm going to show you how to make plarn, which is plastic yarn made out of grocery bags, and how to crochet with them. The materials you're going to need are plastic bags. I've just got a pile of them here. A crochet hook. I'm using my six and a half millimeter furls. A pair of scissors, any kind will do. And a 12 inch ruler. First, we're going to start with laying our grocery bags flat. I like to do five of them at a time. They do not have to be perfectly flat, but they do need to be lined up with each other. Next, we're going to take our ruler and lay them on top of the bags, making sure that there's just a little bit of extra space on each end. Next, we're going to take our scissors and make slits in the bags where we're going to cut all the way across. Start at zero and make a slit every two inches all the way until you get to 12 inches. Go ahead and remove your ruler and set it to the side. I'm now going to cut the tops and the bottoms off of the bags and remove them to the side. And cut all the way across where we put each slit every two inches. Now that we have all of our strips cut, we are ready to separate them and connect them to make one long piece to crochet with. We're going to connect them together one strip at a time. So start with one strip, bring another one over, overlapping them. You're then going to fold your right side over, grab the loop underneath from the same strip and pull to the right. Then grab the loops on each end and pull tight until there's knot in the middle. Slide it over and we're ready to add another strip. Bringing a new strip over, layer it underneath the most recent one so they overlap. Grab the other end of the same strip and pull it up and through. Even out your crossed over loops in the middle and pull tight. Now we're ready for another. We'll do one more together. Bring over a new strip, layering it underneath the previous one. Bring the right side of the new loop over to the left. Grab the other end of the same loop and pull. Then grab both ends to make a knot. Continue this process until you have as many strips joined as you need. You can also join more strips after you've already started crocheting using the same method. A lot of the time I will join enough strips from about 20 or 30 bags and then once I've run out I'll start cutting up more bags and joining more strips as needed. Whatever works better for you. We are now ready to start crocheting. You're now going to use your plarn, just as you would with a double strand of yarn. For this example, I'm going to start with a slip knot, and I'm just going to make a few chains so you can see what it looks like crocheted. You can follow any pattern using this yarn, just crochet with it as normal. A great first project for using plarn would be my Margot Market Bag. The pattern is free on my blog. I made a Margot Market Bag recently with Plarn, and I'm thrilled with the result. I will include a link in the description for the free pattern if you'd like to try it out. When you get to the knots in your string of Plarn, simply crochet over them like normal. It might be a little noticeable when you first get your stitches worked, but it won't be as noticeable once you get more of it done. Here I've chained 10 so you can see what it looks like crocheted. It's got very nice stitch definition. You can see the lumps on the back and there's the little knot. The plarn makes a very nice sturdy fabric once it's worked up. And there you have it. That's how you make plarn, which is plastic yarn out of plastic bags and how to crochet with them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.